Hi, thank you for joining us here at Tax Talk UK, where we talk about all things tax and other important aspects of running your um, small business, being self-employed. And today we're going to continue on our series of bite-sized guides for um, QuickBooks users. Um, before I do that, if I could just ask you to take a moment to please subscribe to our channel, that way you'll easily be able to refer back to this information if you need to, as well as being able to access um, other QuickBooks guides and other information on a whole wide range of topics, all aimed at supporting you in your um, self-employment. So today in QuickBooks, we're going to look at the um, function where QuickBooks will automatically allocate a credit um, to an invoice for you and how you turn this off and when you may not want to use it. So I'm just going to jump into the QuickBooks software. And so firstly, I'm going to show you quickly what I mean. So let's look, for example, um, we have um, a, an invoice here for Adwin Co. So I'm just gonna quickly pop on a credit note for the same um, customer for say, um, Three hundred pounds um, for part of the part of the um, invoice. So let's say three hundred pounds, and obviously in the scenario, we would if we were doing a live credit, we'd check that the um, VAT is the same as the invoice. So let's save and close that credit. Now you can see now in the um, in that customer account that the credit has automatically allocated against that invoice, but perhaps you might not want that to happen. So some of the times would be, um, for example, perhaps on the statement for your client, you want to show the invoice and the payment or payments that have been received, um, for example. Um, so if I just click into, um, into that invoice, and if I go to the um, payment, this is the quickest way that I find to find the um, credit note that's allocated to it. So you can see here, this um, this is the payment that we, this is what we covered in how to allocate the invoice to the credit note by um, doing a, a receive payment and, and instead of leaving an amount to the bank, allocate the credit note instead. So I'm just going to now delete that credit note. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to turn off that function and, and the difference that, that that will have. So as always, we're into the gear um, cog for the settings. Um, we're going into um, account and settings. And we are going into advanced settings. And if you scroll down to automation, you can see here automation, pre-fill forms with previously entered content, automatically apply credits, automatically apply um, bill payments. So we're gonna turn off that automatically apply credits. And um, to be fair, if you find that you need that function less um, turned off, less than you need it turned on, you'd probably be the same for bill payments. So let's uh, just pop that one off too. Um, so done. And okay, let's just do that same thing again. And you can see now what happens. And um, what that function actually does, um, because of course, it may be that you, um, you do want to have that function on. And um, okay, so this, here we go. Third. Okay, so now you can see that the credit hasn't been automatically allocated to the invoice. So in that customer's account, we can see the original invoice of the 1800 pounds, but now we can see the line for the credit note. So that is as it would show on your customer invoice um, and uh, quite a common reason why people don't want the automatic um, application to, to happen. So, if you remember then, so it's um, in the automation settings of the advanced settings um, and, and you just turn that off and then the credits will not automatically apply 
to the um, invoice. Of course, you can still manually do that as we covered in one of the other invoices by creating the receive um, payment. Um, but it means that it won't happen automatically. And if you had, if you weren't aware of that feature and you're wondering why, um, where the credit note's going, um, then hopefully this helps um, to explain. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you could take a moment to subscribe to our channel, please. And if you have found this guidance um, useful, please do take a moment to like the video. That helps us to know which um, topics to focus our videos on for you. Thank you very much. Goodbye.